Okay, welcome to random and non-random sampling. Yes, folks, we're talking about statistics, and you studied a little bit about this last year. Okay, so when we talk about random, we're talking about everyone in the population has a chance, an equal chance, to be in the sample. But what's a population and what's a sample? Well, if we look, a population is just the entire group of people or objects that we're talking about. So maybe we want to know the opinion of middle schoolers at Gresham. So that would be every middle schooler at Gresham. The sample would be the actual kids we picked to, to do in the survey. We might not want to be we might not be able to survey all 900 kids at Gresham. So we want to pick part of those kids to be in our random sample. And what that would be is we would select groups of kids to represent the total population. So we wouldn't pick every kid, just some of the kids. And hopefully we pick them randomly. What that might be is we might just draw names out of a hat. We might pick every fifth kid that comes through the door and just ask them the question. Or maybe it's that we just pick, you know, three uh, students from every homeroom, just like the fourth, twelfth, and seventeenth kid on the homeroom list. But whatever it has to be, it has to be random. Sometimes you get a bias sample. Say we wanted to survey our school and find out about the whole school's opinion on something. But yet, when we went to ask people, we only asked sixth graders. That would be a biased sample. Or what if we only asked Mr. D's room? Or what if we only asked girls? All of those would be biased samples because they don't represent the population. So, let's say we had a question. Maybe we didn't have a tennis team. And we said, should a middle school have a tennis team? So we want to know if this middle school should have a tennis team. Who are we going to survey? What would be the best sample? Should we ask every 10th person at the mall? No. Why do the people at the mall care if we have a tennis team? They don't know anything about our school. Should we ask people at the tennis courts? At Tyson Park? Well, no. One, they don't go to our school, but two, they're probably biased since they're actually out there playing tennis. Could we pick three people from each homeroom at our school and, and survey them? That's getting better. At least they're from the school, and we have kids representing each homeroom. But probably the best one is just to actually survey every fourth kid that comes through the door at the school. That gives every student a chance to be a part of the sample. Everyone in the population has a chance to be in our sample. And that is what random and non-random sampling is about.